you wouldn't care that you are sleeping with your stepdaddy's son. Hey! When the mum drops the baby, is it not related to my man that all doing up seven inches? Hi friends, welcome to my brand new Netflix show where I bring my friends to go head to head to debate on their favourite Netflix shows. And guess who decides the winning case? Yeah, you're right, it's me. <laughs> So in today's episode, we have Rachel Fadda and Amanda Shaw, and they will be going again. Rianne Murray, Amini Misfit. That's okay. We're confident over here. I don't know why you're talking because we're going to win, so... Amen. I like your confidence. You just don't even know the case. <laughs> <laughs> the case that we are bringing to the court of law. Wow. wow. Whole briefcase, you know? Isn't it? As I unlock this... <laughs> you got this with your nails? I like. Everybody shuts up. <laughs> <laughs> so the first case that we have here, well, wait, Nella, please, I can't take that anticipation. Okay. Okay. Can everybody say sex education? Sex, sex education. education. So we're going to be discussing uh, sex education, but before, um, in oh. the court of law, uh, you guys have to solemnly swear hey, not the to Bible. tell the truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody put your acrylics forward. So everybody you have to swear watching. to put their best argument forward in the court of law. I swear, I swear to put my best, put my best argument forward, forward in the court, court of law. law. God is not listening Wait. to you people. The time was really long to remember It wasn't now. that deep. All right, guys, you guys are going to need your case files. Ladies first. Oh, Who is a lady? Wow. Here's your case studies. <laughs> in this court of law, group A believe that Adam is a better boyfriend for Eric, while group B defer and believe that Raheem is the better boyfriend. Raheem, you have to be Raheem. Raheem, a better boyfriend. Adam is a better boyfriend suited. Even though he did have his past, obviously everyone can be forgiven. No. Obviously, it, the fact that he's actually genuinely likes Adam and he's actually his boyfriend, he claims him. Raheem is the better boyfriend because he knows himself. We're Raheem. tired of building these men up yep. to know who they are. Know yep. who you are when you're presenting yourself to me because I know who I am. And I'm so sorry, don't come to me and be bullying me in the beginning, then later on tell me you love me. I ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that. Like, we're not in it, we're not in it. I'm going to give you guys a chance to have a stronger argument. Yeah, because it was weak and we won. Like, there's no, there's no yeah. weakness, there's no weakness weak. in my court. Adam is the better lover only because the love might be toxic, but y'all know toxic love is real love. No, it's Stop not. It. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And yes, it is. To go on top of what she's saying, at least he's claiming Eric. And the thing is, I feel like in general, they have the deeper connection. Right. Like, they have the deeper connection and that's what really matters. That's his boyfriend. We stand by what we said because at the same time, I don't want a man to come to me half full because my cup is oh, very that full. Oh, that up in this court. Raheem used to write poems. Poems. Can a guy ever? Judge Nella, who's the winner? No. Right? Are you guys going to speak through the whole show? Maybe. Judge Nels. <laughs> The judge has left the court. <laughs> I don't want to be your 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 secret as well, also because I'm a hot gal. You get me? From the arguments that you guys have presented to me, make the correct I've, decision, judge. Uh, I think it's my court of law. Yeah, it's your me. turn to speak, go on, babe. Don't let them bully you. Go on. What I liked about your argument is that you mentioned that the guy had like a little bit of toxicity inside of it. Everybody, put your hands up if you've had a toxic guy in your life. Oh. We kind of like the toxic stuff, don't we? You people. I like your argument because I like romance. I like the idea of romance. Put your hands up if you've ever had a romantic boyfriend. Hey! Oh, actually, yeah. Roses are red, violets are blue. I wake up in the morning, all I want is you. <laughs> so I feel like a romantic man is always a whim. We need a man that knows himself. When a man doesn't know himself, He'll be in the club popping bottles. His account is withdrawn. <laughs> if a man doesn't even know himself, how can he even come and get to know you? The results are in. The winning argument after many deliberations is Groove V. All right, guys, so we're going to move on to case number two. Is it okay to get with your step sister? 
based on the fact that Otis and Ola get together while their parents are also dating. So we were against it because at this rate, if the mum's with the guy and she's pregnant, pregnant. I mean, our respect for your mother. Yeah, yeah. I think you should step back because if you now have a child with a guy, you're not all going to be related. Is it not going to be like Big a whole, a whole show like this? Family. On top of that, mm -hmm. I feel like her mom, your mum's at a certain age where it's hard to find guys. So in the case of should my stepsister be with together, you're wasting your time. I'm telling you, it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, they were together before the parents were together. So technically, they were just classmates. It's not my fault that the mum has now decided to get with my girlfriend's dad. Really? That has nothing to do with me. Why should I? Why? So Rianne, what do you think about um, sleeping with your mum's boyfriend's son. Libra Shantelema. <laughs> do you know what, yeah? Yeah, exactly. I'm a Libra. It's my birthday soon. I'm mm -hmm. indecisive. You can't ask me those questions. That's a weak argument. Okay, Bella. okay. They're not blood related, so it's not incest, but mm -hmm. we have to keep it a secret. Like, we can't be going around. We can't be going to church saying, yeah, that's my uncle and this my brother and my sister. In your room. <laughs> <laughs> no one will know that me and my boyfriend are in a relationship nobody with my mum. And... So me and you are. Nobody have to know. I can't support my teammate. Mm. Um, do you get it? I'm for it. Do your thing. Ooh. Love so, is love. What you're trying to tell <laughs> me is you wouldn't care that you are sleeping with your stepdaddy's son. Hey! This is why I know all of you are mad. Some of you are mad. They're not related by blood. It does not mean anything. Do you know, do you know what's so funny and bare cute? When the mum drops the baby, is it not related to my man that all doing up seven inches every time I'm in my room? Scary stuff. And you as well. Oh, you think, eh, what is this? <laughs> Me, I'm balanced. <laughs> Equilibrium. Yeah. yeah. When you said you would leave your boyfriend, yeah, because your mum is going out with his dad, yeah, yeah, I think, I don't think that's true, love. Let me tell you why I don't think that's true. You met him first. I did, but my mum's is she not the one that pushed me out? Can I ask you guys a question, yeah? No, in fact, it's for you. Your mum's dating your boyfriend's daddy, whilst you're calling him daddy. Right. But he's about to be the daddy to the pregnant baby in her belly. I mean, she got two daddies. Oh, hell no. I have a beard! <laughs> <laughs> that it took me some time to realise. Bro. Bro. Hey guys, this is everything we're saying, everything you lot are saying is kind of irrelevant because. <gasps> no, let me tell you why. It's the shoulders that you have let me right tell now. You why. Let me tell you. <laughs> because they're not together no more. At the end of the day, they're That's not together. That's not the no argument more. that was brought forward in the yeah, court the of law. Split up, right? That's true. The court of law is, is incest okay. But the parents split up, so you question. wasted your soulmate. <laughs> That's not the question, the law. Can I have a drum roll, please? No, I'm not drum rolling. We already know. I think that thank the winning. You, thank you so much. The thanks. winning argument is. Team B. Huh? What? Team B? I think I'm being biased. I'm not. At 16, whoever I was with at 16, I don't even know his name. I left him on Facebook. Do you know why? Because it was at a stage in my life where a guy would be like, you're pretty, I love you. Yeah. A guy would compliment me, I'm in love. <laughs> so yeah, group B, you won. I, I just... Be clapping, you can't be no. sore. We clapped for you. <laughs> All right, guys, so last case. Who's the most toxic boy in sex education? Adam or Anwar? So group A. Who are you guys going to be defending today? Adam. The first man. <laughs> and Group B, what is your opening argument? Well, we believe that Anwar is... I object. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. Adam is toxic, but when he went away to the army and stuff and he came back, I feel like he found himself in the army, like he kind of calmed down a bit, like he kind of mellowed out. We believe that Adam is definitely more toxic. I've never met a bully that hasn't been like traumatised as a child, so I feel like, you know, he obviously comes with a lot of baggage. And he's also very physical as well. The other guy's not really physical. Uh, like, he's definitely more toxic. Yeah. yeah. Case closed. Did someone mention anything about gossiping? Yes, yeah, so that's okay. what the subject I was on. So, uncle likes to gossip. What's so toxic about gossiping? What? So along with the gossiping, he also insults his friends, like okay. in front of other friends. And mm. you know what they say about people he that do the down. insults? Like, mm. it's not a joke, do you get it? They really mean it. He's the type of person that will throw acid on you oh. and then help you look for the person that threw acid on you. So basically, you guys brought up um, Adam's childhood trauma. I've grown up and I know some people that have had the most traumatic childhoods 
and that basically has kind of like shaped them into being nice, the nicest people. Whenever you meet the nicest people, they have the most traumatic stories. So that's not an excuse as to why he's toxic, girl. It's not about that's his not experience, though. Huh? It's not about his experience, it's about how he deals with the experience. Yeah. I feel like people that are traumatised either become really, really done out or really, really great. Like, it's, it's either one or the other, that's really. True. So yeah. it's true. Can everybody say balance? Balance! In this life? Yeah, Even true. in this season, now that he's got with Eric, there was a point where he was going to fight someone and Eric was like, no, 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 keep your calm. So he now has someone who's helping him like maneuver this calm. This Anwar guy has no one. No one's stopping him. But he's, he's just on violence. He's That's a good drama. point. Who are you? Who <laughs> sent you? These kids are how old? 16. Right. Of course they're going to gossip. Yeah. We all, we all thrived off right? gossip yeah. in school. My point is the insulting your friends in front of other people and making your friends feel this small. Yeah, I just feel like Anwar is more toxic in general because mm. he doesn't show any development. He hasn't shown any change, growth. any growth. He's getting worse. Can we do a drum roll? Be uh, be uh. No, because if you say that they win again, <laughs> no, it's Nella. rigged. It's actually rigged. Judge Nella. The winning argument is. Don't do that. <laughs> Group A. Period. <laughs> but we won anyway. Period. Two out of three. We yeah, still won. So that's that's what matters. The whole violence thing is something yeah. I can't get over so, because yeah. it's like, if you're that violent at a, like a teenager stage, you're gonna take that into your adulthood. This one is just toxic for fun and games now. <laughs> like, you know when you're the it girl in school and yeah. you just it's wanna just like, yappa, 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 yappa. you it. just wanna maintain like your hierarchy. Like the biggest bullies in schools, mm. like, you know, the ones that were talking the most, where yeah. are they now? <gasps> where? Scary, scary. <laughs> scary. <laughs> end of today's episode on sex education. Woo! So over here we have the winning team group A. Yeah! But massive round of applause to group A. Don't give them a round of applause, they're coming in for you. If you guys want to see more of us talking about our favourite shows, getting a little bit heated, you know, a little bit cheeky in there, then make sure you guys stay tuned. And that's on what? Period. you guys think that Henderson deserves the death penalty more than a uh, grandma? He's a male, first and foremost. Oh, it's... Oh. <laughs>